talking about what it is. It's a six minute promotional video to sell Rift to, to people. Sell Rift. That's what this is for, basically. Or to, to get, get people, or to get us on TV. The person in question on the album Rift is, is experiencing a uh, rift in a relationship. He's consciously thinking of his situation and then he starts to drift, there's a segue, he starts to drift off into sleep and throughout the night he goes through different cycles of sleep where sometimes his dreams take the form of, at one point he feels he's trapped in a maze and there's a song about that. At one point he feels he's battling his mirror image as he skates onto a pond where his, his feet are connected to his mirror image and he's battling with himself. And then in the end he starts to drift into, you know, the light comes pouring in the window and the last song happens and he wakes up. Fish used to cook soup, um, <laughs> and he he would put his his original. When he first started cooking, he would throw everything in the everything in the fridge, heads of every lettuce. spice, heads of lettuce, everything in the house, and it kept getting grayer and grayer until finally he had four or five. Color. It was always the same color. It would have four or five pots on the stove of soup, and that that's the problem with trying to throw everything in. This time we tried to pick a kind of soup. Um, and make and, the best soup we And we could. tried to make it, uh, you know, a simple, good soup. And where each ingredient is integrated into the whole soup. In other soup. words, we're giving a secret message that if you dissolve the CD in water, you'll, you'll you have a very it. tasty soup. Um, basically, the idea is to have one soup that holds together as a whole. The ingredients are only there for the purpose of, of creating, of, of bettering the soup, not for somebody to say, oh, he puts uh, garlic in his soup. If you're thinking consciously when you're up on stage and playing, it, it, it's never the right thing. It comes out sounding contrived. planned and contrived, and that's kind of our whole philosophy with improvisation every night and spontaneity. If you can let yourself go, you end up having a lot of really um, high emotional experiences with other people, and that's why they keep coming back. This is what it's all about, guys. The people that don't even know each other getting together in a scene and everybody feeding off each other's energy and having a good time. And it's all from those four fellows inside and a lot of help from their friends and their crew, too. What makes them different is they do so many different things with just the notes that they have. One of the nights, during one of the songs, the bass player, Mike, started playing the lead guitar part on his bass, and Trey started playing the bass on the lead guitar, and, you know, they just switched the whole sound around. Who, who does that? Who messes with that kind of stuff? I have brought a couple of my friends to see Fish, but a lot of people my age don't have a lot of energy, actually. And I seem to get more fired up by it. And then the next time I heard you, I went down to a little kind of hole in the wall, in the village in New York. And now here we are to a really big audience and I'm knocked out. <laughs> Our crew, uh, year-round salary. Uh, everybody's got health insurance benefits. It's a family operation. 
they're as responsible in their own ways as we are for all of this. You know, the hard work that they put in all the years of uh, sleeping on floors and, you know, uh, driving around in unsafe trucks and whatnot. And, uh, you know, they're it's because of them that we've been able to achieve the success that we have, too. One thing that's somewhat miraculous is that we get along as well as we do, the four of us. We've, we've spent all of our time together. When we're off the road, we practice pretty much every day. Uh, for nine years, we've been doing that. And we, we used to travel in a Plymouth Voyager. This tour is 23 gigs and 25 nights. From the beginning, uh, the feeling has always been in the four of us that there's never been any doubt, there's never been any question that this is what we we're going to do. It's just. It had to be. It's the religious side of it, where there's a force or a common consciousness or something where that, that comes through you into your instrument and, and uh, out to the audience. I can tell when that's happening if 10 minutes has gone by and I realize I haven't swallowed. <laughs> is dry. Or breathe. Or, or breathe. You know, <laughs> drool is coming out of your Drool's mouth. Piling or up on the shit floor. is running down your leg. Still you're my own in my beautiful memories. My, my high end is good. We should try another one.